Hello everyone and welcome to the chapter 1 knowing your numbers. Today we will be discussing the continuation from the subtopic comparing numbers. Here we will be discussing about uh, the numbers, large numbers like what is 1 lakh, crore, billions and billion. And the second subtopic what we are going to discuss is how to write these large numbers and the introduction to the comma system. So uh, going ahead with this, let me talk about how we came to the number 1 lakh. We are already aware. What is this number? This number is 9999. If I add to 1 to this number, I get a number 10,000. This number we already discussed in the previous lecture that this number is 10,000. And it is the smallest 5 digit number. Moving ahead with this, if I have a number, okay, this number is what? 99,999. If I add 1 to it, I get a number. 'Cause the smallest six digit number and this number is known as one lakh. Moving ahead with this, if I take a number, can anybody tell me what this number says? It says it's the largest six digit number and it is named as nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. So if I add 1 to it, I get a number 10 lakhs. It is the large, it is the smallest 7 digit number. Same way, if I go ahead with this, I have a number Can you even tell what is this number? This is 99 lakhs, 99,999. If I add 1 to it, I get the number 1,000,000. This number is named as 1 crore. Same way. And so on. I can add 1 to 99 crores, 99 lakhs, 99,999 to get 10 crores and so on. So this was all about the naming system in Indian uh, numeration, Indian system of numeration. Now let me tell you an example of what is the international system of numeration. Here we are talking about million concept. Now what is million? Million is 1000 times 1000 that is 1000 into 1000 it gives me 1 2 3 and 6 zeros so can anybody tell me what is this number yes as seen above this number is 10 lakhs this is 1 million in international system of numeration. Now let me take, talk about 1 billion. One billion is 1000 times 1 million. That is 1000 million or you can say 1000 into 10 lakhs and it would give you a number so this was this is the numeric system or numeric representation of international system of numbers and this is the representation of indian system 
So lakhs and crores are used in Indian system and millions and millions are used to denote large number in international system. I hope this is clear to you. Let me come across a next topic and before going to the next topic let us revise something. This is all about the numeric systems what we have learned till now. Now when I say uh, 100, 100 is denoted more, 100 is denoted as uh, 100 is equal to 10 tens or you can say 10 into 10. Same way if I say what is 1000, 1000 is denoted as tens of hundreds or hundreds of tens. 1 lakh is denoted by 100 of thousands or 1000 hundreds. 10 lakhs can say is equivalent to 1000 thousands. 1 crore is equivalent to 100 lakhs or 10,000 thousands and so on. Same way if I uh, took in the right hand side, I have an international system of numeration. You can see here 100 is represented by 10 tens, 1000 as 10 of hundreds. 1 million is 1000 times thousands, earlier study in the earlier side and 1 billion is 1000 millions. So you are now aware of what is the numbers used when we have to denote large numbers like lakhs and crores is used in Indian system of numeration, millions and millions is used in international system of numeration. Now moving ahead with this, I would like to introduce you with the comma system. How do we place a comma? Now why is comma required? Let me give you an example, a very simple example. If I have something and if I don't place any comma, wouldn't it be difficult for you to read it? Is it a hundred, thousand, lakhs or crore? So if the same number is represented by this, okay, so you can say that this number is something related to 10. And then as you are having three zeros or the hundreds position here, you can say it is like unit, uh, say ones, hundreds and the thousands you can clearly say that this is amount is or this number is 10,000. Let me take one more simple example. If I have a number like this, so it would be difficult for us, but the same number if I represent something like this, Okay, so starting from the right hand side, this number is something related to thousands. But when I go ahead, this become 10,000 and lakh. Okay, so this number is 1 lakh. This represent lakh and these represent is how many lakhs. So this is 1 lakh. I hope this is clear to you. Let me take one little uh, tricky example. Okay, to denote it with the numbers, let us say this represents the thousand, then we come across the lakhs, and then we come across, sorry, yeah. So this number is 2,73,640. So I hope this is clear to you. Let me take you to the next example of how exactly we will be using this comma system. So this comma system is the way we are representing in Indian system of numeration. Like in Indian system of numeration, the first comma comes after the three digit, then subsequent commas come after every two digits and so on. This will be the number What will be this number? 1 lakh, 1 crore, yes this uh, number is 1 crore. So now let me take one more example of how we represent the same number. with international system of numeration. In international system of numeration, the number is a represent, let me take an example. 
this is the 10 lakhs in Indian system of numeration. Now the same number if I have to represent in international system of numeration, we place three zeros, we place three zeros and so on. In international system of numeration, the comma is placed after every three digits. So this number now becomes 1 million instead of 10 lakhs in Indian system of numeration. This is just a different representation than a 